Hello, my people. We are the Nation Voice. Today, we will be talking about our brother, the Vice President of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Osimbajo, which came up this morning with a list of reasons why Buhari government closed Nigeria's borders. And in case you are just joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe to our channel and hit on the notification button in such a way when we upload a new video, they will notify you. And as you continue to support us in this channel, the Lord of heaven will send a helper to support you in whatever you do in Jesus' name. Amen. Without wasting much of your time, let us go straight to the news. The headline of this news reads, Osimba just lists real reasons Buhari government closed borders begs Nigerians. The Vice President Yemi Osimba John on Friday urged Nigerians to endure the pains accompanied with the closure of Nigeria's borders. Osimba John, who spoke at a town hall meeting in Benin City, Edo State, disclosed that border closure was aimed at ensuring that farmers become prosperous. The Vice President said, Part of the reasons for the border closure was to get the attention of the neighboring countries to take border policy more seriously. According to Osimbajo, part of the reasons for shutting the border is the smuggling that has been going on. If we continue to allow the Chinese and others to continue to bring in all those things, we will kill farming completely and most of our people will not be employed. There may be some pains in order to gain. The countries of the world that are prosperous didn't allow anybody to bring in anything to their country. He explained that smugly discourages local production and does not allow Nigerian's farmers have access to markets. They make sure they grew what they eat. I can assure you that very soon you will see a great day of progress. You will see a month of our own commodity coming into the market. If we allow our people to grow those things, our people will prosper. The only way our people can prosper is if we let them use the opportunity that they have such as farming, fishing and others. We are going to make sure that commodities are cheaper. We must bear in mind that the reason today some commodities are more expensive is because we stop smuggling. We are going to encourage our local farmers so that our local farmers can prosper. Okay guys, this is basically the news for you for today. And I want to remind you once again, in case you are just joining us for the first time, that there is a big room for your comments and your opinion, which I would like you to drop on the comment section, which will really help us all a long way. And before that, I want to share with you my own opinion concerning this matter. Closing the Nigeria border, to me, I believe is a good decision if really we want our economy to really grow as we all desire to see. But another thing is... We should as well make sure that the things that are necessary for really growing the, the economic of the nations as agriculture is concerned should as well follow. And I would just like to mention three things. One, access to loan. If the farmers can have access to loan, which will enable them to buy or purchase the modern equipment for farming. If you look about really farming of, the, of these days, it's no longer as it was in the time of old. No. Everything concerning farming these days is being done by machine. Like clearing the ground, like plowing the ground, like irrigation. Everything basically is being done by machine. If these people have access to loan, they can be able to buy this modern day technology equipment which we enable them to produce more, which can easily get to everyone on a cheaper rate. Secondly, is a good road. The, majority, the major problem of which farmer I see that the farmers are facing is after producing those goods, taking it to the market is another, another major problem. They find it difficult to transport those things to the market because the roads are bad. If the government can as well work on the road, make sure that there is a good access, easy access from the farm to the market, I think it will still as well reduce the high cost of this commodity. Thirdly, is electricity. I believe 
majority of this equipment of which I made mention before, they all uses electricity, like charging or for them to fossil in a maximum way. If Nigerian government can as well work in the aspect of electricity, it will really give ease for this farmer to produce the commodity of which will be enormous to the whole Nigerians. And at this point, I just want to say thank you for being patient with us. And please drop your comment on the comment section, share, subscribe to our channel and like. And the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.